I'll make this video quick and to the point. Now, R. Kelly, not guilty on all counts. Why is it? Because the, the trial was drug out so damn long and people forgot that the girl was underage? Mm hmm. I want to tell you what it is. If the intangibles in this case were different, R. Kelly would be in prison right now. Matter of fact, R. Kelly was in prison a long time ago. Same as the little Michael Jackson situation. But different. You know what I'm saying? Same but different. Money has the ability to stretch things out until the average person forgets. Yes, the average person forgets. See, when you ask certain people about the situation, they'll be like, he's got too much money to be doing something stupid like that and maybe risk his whole career. It couldn't be real. It's got to be fake. The reality is, this man got over. He got over. And, you know, I'm not knocking anybody. I'm not hating on R. Kelly. But the moral of the story is he got over. Um, the girl's age. She was underage. I saw the video. Hey, I'm a man. People watch curious things. That's why people saw that Ray J and the Kardashian girl tape. Because... It was a curiosity. So you watched the R. Kelly tape. And I saw the compilation. Him, and I seen the one he peed on the girl and all that good stuff. Whatever. The man got over. The bottom line is this. If the intangibles were different in this case. That was a 12-year-old white girl, R. Kelly, gone. 12-year-old little boy, R. Kelly, gone. The key word is white. Yes, I, I said it. If this was R. Kelly doing a, a white kid, he'd be gone. But it happened in the black community. And society has a way of saying, well, you know, if it happened in the black community, let's just leave it in the black community. Let's let that go. The little black girl's future wasn't important. It wasn't, it, you know. If she had cried rape, then the first thing he would have said, she asked for some money. The video I saw. He pulls his uh, instrument out of her mouth and hands her some money. You know, one that looked like they're in the sauna. So, the moral of the story I'm trying to get to is this. Money changes the way people perceive you. If you got a gang load of money and somebody say you did something, odds are you will get away with it. Because there's no way somebody with so much would do something so stupid. And that is why R. Kelly is free tonight. I didn't want to touch this two days ago when, you know, when my wife first told me, R. Kelly got off. I'm like, what? After I did that video talking about I ain't going to see him in jail because I ain't going to be there with him. To be honest with you, I really didn't touch the subject because I wanted to wait for the jury man to say something. I was going to latch on to a jury report. But instead, I'll use my efforts to say the truth. The truth is money influences people. He was accused of trying to bribe the, the, the witnesses and jury members. and He was accused of all this stuff and he still got off. Now, like I said, if that had been a little white girl, it would have been different. If it had, she didn't have to be white, she just had to look white. And it would have been different. Everything would have been different. Because people don't take likely to little white girls getting molested, raped, or fucked with. People don't, I, you know, they just don't take that lightly. Especially by some hippity hoppity R&B Pied the Pied Piper of R&B. Take, take, take the, what he calls himself the Pied Piper of R&B. Or people have called him the Pied Piper of R&B. What did the Pied Piper do once the town didn't want to pay him? I don't want to leave metaphors in your head and I don't want to dwell on R. Kelly too long. But R. Kelly got over. Uh, the girl from Gia TV says he got lucky. Lucky like the guy who's, who, who's going to be evicted and hits the lottery that same day. I'm going to take it one step further. R. Kelly is the guy from um, Final, it was the Final Destination where all the kids avoid death. R. Kelly didn't get on the roller coaster. R. Kelly didn't get on the airplane. R. Kelly was the guy who, um, you know, who uh, 
was in Iraq, did four tours of duty, and came home. R. Kelly did get lucky, but history shows us what money can do. History. O.J. Simpson, they had him dead to rights. DNA, blah, 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 witnesses, frustrated, history of violence, money. Money changes everything. And for the first time in American history, um, there's enough black people with money to be able to pay for the same justice that has been given freely to some. I remember one time I was in court, in a walk-in court, and they said, Mr. Romero, stand up. You have a DUI, blah, 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 blah. Shows that this is your first DUI, da, 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 da. I'm going to give you seven months. White guy stands up. Mr. Johnson, this is uh, your third DUI. Are you represented by counsel? Counsel got up, said three or four things. Mr. Johnson walked out of the courtroom. Someone told me if you can afford to defend yourself, then they can afford to let you go. There is no logic in that statement. R. Kelly didn't get lucky. The whole time R. Kelly was waiting for his trial, R. Kelly got paid. And when you get paid, you can show that you can turn a profit and you're worth something. Your worth itself is enough to keep you out of jail. Michael Jackson. Accusations alone would have shut down a million people. So, you take this video to bed with you tonight and you think about it. Think about Michael Jackson. Think about O.J. Simpson. You think about R. Kelly. Then you think about all those people who got away with stuff before they did. And you'll come to one conclusion. Money is law Money is justice, and money is blind, because if you can get it, it don't care what you look like when it's time to spend it. I wasted enough time talking about R. Kelly getting a get-out-of-jail-free ticket for having sex with little girls and peeing on them. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a day. And I want you to think about that great R. Kelly song. I can't really think of one right now, but I'm going to think of one until, until I go out and I'm thinking about it. I can't. I can't come up with a great song now. And maybe we can fiesta. I don't know. But until then, today is a sad day in African American history. When a little black girl can be fucked on video, dick rammed in the mouth, pissed on, and all that for a fistful of dollars by a star somebody she probably just won his autograph I give you my autograph in a little bit more a little bit more so you think about it America you think about what you let your kids do you think about when your daughter goes to that concert and she got the free backstage passes from uh, wild one old blah 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 radio station your local Hip hop connection. She goes backstage to meet her favorite stars. Money gets passed around. People get passed around. Panties get pulled down. Justice and law gets clowned. Think about when you send your kids to these concerts and they just want to meet their stars. See the stars. I want to see that, that person that's on that poster in my wall. That's all. You think about that. That's time you let your daughters out, your sons out. And I encourage you all to go buy the new R. Kelly CD. I think he's going to name it Free at Last. Free at Last. Getting a young piece of ass set me free at last. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to go out with a little thrust or kick. But until then, you've been tubed. And R. Kelly has been set free from getting his jiggy on with a little girl.
Thank you.